Hey there, it's Heather from Stamping and Blogging. Sandy and I came together to offer our members something that is truly unique. That is, a site where you can learn new stamping techniques and projects exclusively using Stamping Up product, as well as how to set up, maintain, or enhance your blog to showcase your artwork or to simply help grow your online presence. Today's video is an example of one of our How to Set Up a Blog series video presentations. It is about how to add a shop online button to your blog sidebar. In one video for today, we are going to be covering Blogger, TypePad, and WordPress. So if you are a stamping and blogging member, you would come to the forum and then there is an area specifically for stamping up demonstrators. And then there is a section called blog, newsletter, sidebar maintenance. And this particular thread is the shop online button. If you're a stamping up demonstrator, you would want to select this code because it is going to the stamping up store. And then you would be replacing your demonstrator ID where you see the six X's. If you're not a demonstrator or if you simply want to go to a specific page on your site or another online store, you want to use this code and then substitute that URL here where it has the test www.yourblognameorstore.com. We are going to select the first set for demonstrators. I'm selecting it, right click, copy. And we will start with Blogger. You want to be inside your Blogger blog. You will go down to Layout. This is where you'll see a layout of your blog and your sidebars. You want to click on Add a Gadget. You're looking for HTML, JavaScript. You can put a title. You can leave it blank. And then you will paste the code in the large content box. If you would like this to be centered, you can use this code here. And then you will click Save. It is added to the top of the sidebar. Going to click Save Arrangement and then View Blog. And then here is your new Shop Online button. And again, you want to make sure that you edit your demonstrator ID where it has the, the six X's. Next, we are going to jump on over to TypePad. You want to go to Design and then content. Again, you see your overall layout of the blog. To add a custom sidebar widget, you want to scroll down in the middle modules box, click on embed your own HTML, and then add this module. The custom label will not be seen, so you can name this anything. And again, it will not be seen on your blog, it's more for just organizational purposes inside of this design area. In the HTML box is where you will paste your code. Remember to put your demonstrator ID in place of the X's. And then click OK. The important step is to make sure you also click Save Changes. Now you are ready to view blog. And here is the Shop Online button. Lastly, let's jump on over to WordPress. This will work for self-hosted or the free version of WordPress. You want to go down to your sidebar, Appearance, Widgets. Now this screen will look different for all of us, but you want to find a text widget and drag it over to the sidebar. Again, you can put in a title or you can leave it blank. And the larger text box is where you paste the code. Again, remember to replace the X's with your demonstrator ID. Click Save. 
click close and I'm just going to make sure I drag this to the top and then we're going to view the site and then here it is on the right sidebar I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration of the videos that we have inside stamping and blogging and hope you join us soon. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.